in question number 16 in a cyclic process an ideal gas undergoes through four thermodynamic process isobaric isochoric isothermal and adiabatic the cyclic process is shown in pv indicator diagram match the entries of column 1 with the entries of column 2 so as i see this indicator diagram the process c2d is isobaric the process d2a is isochoric and in this process ab and bc ab is isothermal and bc is adiabatic so let's check the entry of column 1 in entry a in process a to b so process ab is isothermal so in case of isothermal process change in temperature is zero so in case of isothermal process temperature remains same so change in internal energy would be zero so in this case as the volume increases the work done by the gas is positive so delta q is positive so if i see the entry delta q is positive so the correct matching will be r and t in entry b in the process bc bc is adiabatic process so in case of adiabatic process delta q is zero work done by the gas is positive because it is adiabatic expansion so work done is positive then change in internal energy will be negative so the correct matching will be q only in entry c in the process cd cd is a isobaric compression so in case of isobaric compression as the volume decreases temperature will decrease so change in internal energy would be negative and in this case it is a isobaric compression the work done by the gas is negative so delta q is also negative so the correct matching will be q and s and in entry d so in the process d a volume is constant so it is a isochoric process so in case of isochoric process work done is zero and since the pressure is increasing so the temperature will increase so delta u would be positive and delta q would be positive so the correct matching will be p and r so in question number 16 the correct matching of entry a is rt for entry b it is q for entry c it is qs and for entry d it is pr let's move to question number 17 in question number 17 a uniform object of round shape of radius r and mass m is connected to a spring of a spring constant k and placed on a rough surface as shown in figure the friction is sufficient to prevent slipping for small disturbances for small disturbance and the object perform oscillations column 1 contains the object nature and column 2 contains related properties if i calculate the time period if the object perform oscillations then suppose this is rotated by an angle theta then the arrangement is something like this let the center of mass is displaced by an a distance r theta then the spring would be compressed by 2 r theta because the object is in the state of pure rolling so applying the torque equation about this point as the torque of normal and friction and the gravitational force about this point is zero so we can say that the restoring torque will act as k into 2 r theta this is the restoring force and multiplied by 2r from the point of application this is the restoring torque so this is equal to i about this point so that is icm plus mr square into angular acceleration alpha so we can say that alpha comes out to be 4 kr square divided by icm plus mr square into theta so on comparison so we will get the value of omega that is under root of 4 k r square divided by icm plus m r square so from here we get the time period 2 pi into under root icm plus m r square divided by 4 k r square now for different round objects i can get the time period in case of entry a object is solid cylinder so the value of icm is m r square by 2 so on solving the value of time period comes out to be pi into under root 3 by 2 m by k in case of hollow cylinder it comes out to be pi into under root 2 m by k in case of solid sphere it comes out to be pi into under root 7 m by 5 k and in case of hollow sphere it comes out to be pi into under root 5m by 3k let's do the matching now if i see that maximum time period the maximum time period is this 
this is the maximum time period and the minimum time period is this let's do the matching so the correct matching for solid cylinder would be 3m by 2k so the correct matching will be r in case of hollow cylinder the time period is not given but this time period is maximum so the largest time period so we can say that the hollow cylinder oscillates with largest time period as compared to other three so the correct matching will be s in case of solid sphere the correct matching will be q since it have a minimum time period so its frequency is maximum so it oscillates with largest frequency as compared to the other three so it is the correct matching will be t and in case of hollow sphere the correct matching is entry p so for question number 17 the correct matching for a is r for b is s for c is qt and for d is p let's move to question number 18